Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today's video is gonna be a talking video. I'm gonna be trying to answer the question, should you own a firearm? It's not really a yes or no thing. I can't really tell you whether you should or not, but I'm gonna be giving you some information that will hopefully help you make a wise and educated decision on whether firearms ownership is for you or not. This is gonna be a talking video. All it's gonna be is my face, so if you hate my face, just listen to it. If you hate my voice, deal with it. But speaking of my face, anytime I do a video about firearms, giving tips or advice or anything like that, I'll get the random redneck that's like, why should we take advice from a 15 year old? I'm 34, uh, I may not look it, I actually just turned 34 this week. So I've been on the earth for a little bit, so I, I, kinda, I kinda have a little bit of a knowledge and information. Having said that, let's get into it. I myself am very pro-gun. I own and operate a holster company even. I am a concealed carry permit holder. I carry a firearm every single day of my life when legally able to. But I'm not like most Second Amendment guys in the sense of I don't have the thinking like some of them do. Everyone in America should own a gun. Their dog should own a gun. They should have at least 10 guns in their room at all times. I'm not really that guy. There's a lot of people that I think shouldn't own a gun. You know, people that are maybe violent, mentally unstable. There's a, there's a lot of reasons and the two-way community right now is hating on me. But I don't necessarily think everyone should own a gun. But I'm gonna give you some reasons that really contradict that because I kind of feel like most people should own a gun for some pretty sound reasons that we'll get into right now. So the Second Amendment, people will say, Second Amendment, you need to own a gun. You don't. The Second Amendment is a right to own a gun, not a requirement to own a gun. So I'm not gonna try and throw that in your face, still a choice, but we do currently in America have the right to own a gun. That is awesome that we have that freedom. Here's the kicker, we may not always have that freedom. And I'm not trying to scare tactic you into going and buying guns or anything like that. I'm just saying we may not always have that freedom or it may be more difficult depending on your state or depending on the country at large, depending on who is the president and whatnot you may not always have the ability to legally acquire a firearm, but you do now. The thing is, if for some reason the law changes, yada, 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 confiscation of guns is a lot harder to do than prohibiting the sale of guns. So if you buy a gun now, even if you don't want it, you are kind of future-proofing yourself to some extent potentially from future changing laws. So even if you don't want a gun now, but you realize that, wow, we live in America and it's really cool to have the right that we might not always have, I would suggest picking up a firearm for the future. Another future thinking reason, and this is getting more into kind of the prepper side, but I'm not crazy, so don't worry. But if something crazy goes on, global pandemic, mass crisis, grid down scenario where there's potentially rioting or there's pillaging or there's people trying to kill you, take your stuff, things like that. And you're like, wow, yeah, during that scenario, walking dead, whatever, firearms ownership really makes a lot of sense. It would really be great to have a gun to be able to defend myself, my family, and basically survive. So, Prepare for the unforeseen, even if you don't really see a reason to own a gun now. My neighborhood's really safe. I don't need to own a gun, even though that's not really probably true. Your neighborhood may not always be safe. So again, those are two kind of forward thinking reasons that you might wanna get a gun now, even if you don't want a gun now. Now, if you do fall into that category and you are gonna go out and get a gun, I would definitely highly recommend buying a safe. If you're not gonna carry your gun every day, get a safe to put your gun in so you can keep it out of the hands of if you have kids or a relative or someone crazy or somebody breaks into your house, keep that thing locked up so that only you have access to it or the ones that you deem responsible enough to give access to. So get a gun, put it in a safe. Now that's cool, that's cool. I can respect that. You're, you're taking the initiative to, to get a gun for the future where you might change your mind and you might eventually want a concealed carry permit. There's tons of people in this world where they are very, very anti-gun until they're a victim of a violent crime and they're like, wow, a gun is a great equalizer. 
It would make a whole lot of sense. I am an intelligent thinking individual and the best way to defend myself, especially from somebody with a gun, is to myself have a gun. That's good. There is this weird sentiment out there and I don't know where it came from. The effeminate males of today's culture, I, I don't really know. But for as long as I can remember, gun ownership was masculinity or Rambo, James Bond, whoever is guns because there is very simple understanding that uh, a gun is the most effective tool to kill somebody with a gun. Now we're talking about it defensively. If somebody's trying to attack you with a knife or with a gun, gun's gonna be the best way to put them down. So this brings us into the area, the realm of self-defense. Being a man or being a woman, you should be able to defend yourself or the, the ones that you love with the best tool available at your disposal here in America that realistically is a firearm. I don't care how buff you are. I don't care how good at martial arts you are. I don't care how good with a knife you are. If there's a person trying to kill you and they have any amount of skill and they have a gun and you don't have a gun, you're gonna lose that fight. So get over your weird, men don't need guns. That's just, that's, that's not smart thinking. And we're trying to be smart around here. All right, so self-defense. There are so many aspects of self-defense. We're not gonna cover them all right now, but avoidance, situational awareness, having those two things, being good about those two things will get you out of most situations before you have the need to pull out a gun. But even someone with the best situational awareness on the planet, may find themselves one day in an unforeseen moment where there is somebody trying to kill you or other people with a gun and having a gun in that moment is the only way that potentially you will get out alive. So self-defense with a firearm, why a firearm? Because it is the best tool. It's not the best tool in anybody's hands. I'm just gonna say that. If you don't know how to use a gun, if you don't have any training on how to use a gun, a gun is a, is a pretty, dangerous tool. It's not going to be a very effective tool. I still think a completely untrained person with a gun stands a better chance of surviving against an attacker with a gun than if that untrained person had no gun at all. But you definitely need to get trained if you're going to become serious about self-defense. Now, why a gun, you might ask? Why can't I carry pepper spray? Why can't I carry a taser? Why can't I carry a knife? I'm not saying any of those things are inherently bad or wrong, and I think they could be potentially sometimes useful in a supplementary way to a firearm. But pepper spray is not always effective. Pepper spray isn't gonna work at distance. Pepper spray isn't gonna work very well if you have multiple assailants. Pepper spray is not gonna save your daughter's life across the room when there's a person trying to kill them over there. It's not. Some people just aren't affected by pepper spray as much, especially these hardened criminals that maybe have been sprayed a time or two in their life. It's not as effective. Same goes with a taser, except taser is even affected by clothing, even more affected by distance, even more affected by multiple attackers. So it's an even weaker tool, honestly. Then you say, well, how about a knife? A knife never runs out of bullets. A knife is great. A knife, I'm just gonna say it, takes a ton of skill and training to be very effective against anyone. And even then it still has limitations of distance. It has limitations of size. If you are a small woman and you are going against a big attacker and you have a knife that you would realistically carry on you, you won't be able to kill him in time most likely before he can seriously harm or kill you. That's just, it's the sad, sad realities of the situation. A knife isn't as an effective tool as a gun. Now a gun, it is the great equalizer for a reason. Anybody can die with one shot. Anybody can be intimidated with a gun. A gun is just, it's the most powerful tool that you can realistically carry on your body every day. So when it comes to self-defense, you could argue till you're blue in the face that there is a better tool, but you're wrong. If you've decided, hey, you know what? I like being prepared. I like knowing that no matter what happens, 
I will have a better chance of keeping my loved ones and myself alive than I would if I didn't have a gun. That's, that's a great realization to come to. It's a realization that a lot of people never come to in their life. It's a realization that a lot of gun owners never even come to in their life because they just like owning guns because they're cool or because it's America or because whatever. But there's a very, very, very logical reason to own guns. It's what I just talked about. What next? You might say, Mike, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to take self-defense seriously. I'm going to get a gun. But what do I do next? Next, I would recommend finding training, finding excellent training, finding the best training that you can afford. I have several videos on my channel of different instructors that I've trained with. I haven't made videos about them all, but I think on my channel I have videos with Aaron Cowan, I have videos with Haley Strategic, it's some other people too. Get good training. If you want to know some good trainers, comment down below. I'll answer your comments with some links and some, some references. And these people, the people that I like, they travel all over or you can travel to where they teach. So yeah, training. Because just owning a gun won't give you the, the mindset or the tactics or the actual raw skill to use it proficiently. And somebody that is proficient with their gun is way more likely to be able to defend themselves from an attacker than somebody that just has a gun. With that comes the need for good gear. If you're gonna get a concealed carry permit and you're gonna carry every day, you're gonna wanna also invest in a good holster. There's a lot of good holsters out there. I'm biased to my own. I didn't like any holsters out there, so I made my own holsters and then other people wanted them and so I started selling them. So I make and sell holsters llod.us is my website. That's, that's that, you can check them out. Um, if you're gonna carry on your body, a holster. Or if you say, I don't think my wardrobe or what, I don't think I'm ready to carry on my body, okay, I would recommend carrying on your body, but I get that it might not be practical for everyone. There are a lot of ways to carry off body in a bag. Again, recommend carrying on body, but depending on the situation or whatever, you may need to bag carry. For that, I love Vertex bags. This is actually the new one in this tan. This is my gamut, my new gamut, the gamut two, I think. Anyways, this is gonna be my new everyday bag. Vertex bags, just they're, they're designed very well. They're, they're well thought out, well laid out, but they're also geared towards concealed carriers. They have special compartments with Velcro backing, so they really lend themselves well to carrying a firearm. I also sell a holster that goes in tandem with Vertex bags. It's this super streamlined thing. It's got Velcro on the back, sticks in there, holds your gun securely. So carrying in a bag is another option. If you're gonna carry on body though, I'd recommend a good belt. This is sounding like a sales pitch. It's not really meant to be, but I have experience carrying. I do sell a belt on my website as well, llod.us slash gear. You can find the belt. I won't even talk more about it. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up. This video became super rambly. I apologize for that, but hopefully I gave some good information for you guys that might've been looking for it. I'm gonna do a part two to this video, kind of a follow-up. And that's gonna be for those of you that say, you know what, that makes sense, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research on what gun I should buy. I'm gonna help you with that research. I'm gonna make a video on what should I buy as my first gun. If you already own a gun, you can still watch this video because it'll still apply. But I'm gonna talk about the different types of guns. I'm gonna talk about the different calibers of guns. I'm gonna talk about the different use cases of these guns and what multiple roles they might be able to fulfill. So if you really don't know that much about guns, or even if you do, I'm gonna make a video that kind of breaks down kind of all of the guns and gun types out there to hopefully demystify that for you a little bit and and make buying guns a little less scary. You can go into a gun shop and just ask them and they may know what they're talking about and they may not. When I was younger, when I was 18 and went into buy a gun, I had a lot of questions. The person at, I think it was a big five sporting goods, knew nothing. So there are people out there that know nothing. There are some people out there that think they know a lot and they don't. I'm just gonna help you out a little bit. 
part two to this video, so get subscribed to the channel if you're not already, and that video is coming up soon. It might be the next video or it might be a couple videos out, but soon. And then I wanna leave you with this last little thing. Is firearms ownership, is owning a gun, is carrying a gun the end all be all? Will I have a gun and will I be unstoppable? No, you won't. And I kind of alluded to this earlier a little bit with the whole training aspect. But there are so many more things to being a, a good prepared person than just carrying a gun with you. And a lot of that is mindset. A lot of that is situational awareness. A lot of that is just general preparedness. And then another big piece of the puzzle is medical training, know-how, knowledge, and medical gear. There are some things where there aren't really any substitutes for, such as a tourniquet. So I carry medical kits in my car, and my backpack, and my range bag. They're, they're everywhere. I always have a medical kit within arm's reach, pretty much. A lot of people advocate carrying that on your body as well. There's certainly arguments in favor of that. Uh, and then there's arguments in favor of realism and what you can practically carry. Um, but that is a video for another time. And that really wraps it up. I wanna hear from you though. I wanna hear your comments down below. I wanna hear your questions. I wanna hear what videos you want, on, like what topics that you want me to dive deeper into. If that's medical, I've had a lot of requests for medical. So I do have medical planned, both for kind of like overlanding medical as well as firearms medical, as well as just general trauma, stop the bleed, that kind of stuff. So I do have a few, I, I do have videos planned out for the future that I will be doing about that. But if you're curious about general preparedness, survivalism, more videos on situational awareness, stuff like that, let me know. If you wanna see more videos of me getting down with some trainers and getting them on camera and asking them to do some videos with me, I can do that too. I have a lot of great connections in that world. But I wanna know what you wanna watch, so let me know down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribed. I don't always do videos like this, do a lot of adventure stuff, but I do a lot of gear and some firearms. So if you're into that kind of stuff, get subscribed to the channel, hit that notification icon as well, because it's always cool for people to watch early because those people that comment early, I'm oftentimes more ready to answer those questions too. Yeah, I have a website, lod.us. I always link stuff down in the description below, so I will put relevant links down below in all of my videos always, but this one too. All right, that's it. Until next time, guys, take care.